Hello, everyone. So what fresh hell have you prepared for us today? A specific hell, uh, Ikea. That's not hell. I love Ikea. Uh, hell to most, <laughs> the domestic hell for others. So the title is, am I the asshole for going to Ikea with my girlfriend and then refusing to pay half? <laughs> As usual, need more context. That, I mean. Well, it's time for the context. So. My girlfriend, 23F, and I, 24M, just moved in together yesterday. This I moved into an apartment that she had shared with her roommate before I moved in. So the apartment was half furnished since her roommate took half of everything. I lived in an incredibly small bachelor style studio, so the only things I really had was a queen bed, a couch that she hated, and a TV. We agreed to keep my bed in bed frame since she had a full. She suggested we go to Ikea to restock the house and she was super excited about it. When we got there, she filled out our entire cart with furniture, kitchen, and bathroom stuff. She was asking my opinion on stuff and I was happy to give it, but I saw the bill racking up pretty quickly. She ended up getting so much stuff that I saw as pointless, like bathroom rugs, a soap dispenser, a dresser, even though she has one. She got a second matching bedside table for my side of the bed, some art for the apartment, and two giant rugs. There's an exclamation mark at the end of that. One for the bedroom and one for the living room. And this is just some of the stuff I didn't think we needed. There was plenty more. This is the first <laughs> Am I the Asshole post that I've heard in a long time where it's not like my girlfriend 20 and me 47 are, <laughs> <laughs> are getting married in three hours. So it's the, fir the first one where the red flag hasn't come immediately. We ended up having two full carts of stuff. And before we even went to checkout, she said, quote, everything else we can just get on Amazon, end quote. I was generally in shock. She thought we needed even more than all of this crap. But we went to checkout and just like I thought, the total was almost $1,400. She asked the cashier if we could split the bill halfway on two cards and I was horrified. I told her no way I was paying half for all of this. She looked surprised and we quickly began to argue. She told me this was for the both of us, but I disagreed and said I didn't need half of this. After about five minutes of arguing and holding up the line, she paid and we left. The entire hour ride home, we argued, and when we got home, I was given the silent treatment after being called a cheap jerk. Am I the asshole here? So, what are we thinking? Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna go out and say yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just gonna say yes. Uh Dory. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jacob. I'm leaning towards yes, and here's why. Because at the beginning of the post, it sounds like he's framing it like he was planning on paying for half of it until it became too much for him to handle. And he was like, no, nah, I'm not paying for any of this shit. I, I want to say it's yes, because dude, dude had enough time to be like, okay, we might not need all of this stuff. You have an entire Ikea trip before the warehouse section to, to voice your opinion. You were literally giving your opinion in your head, like, "Oh, we don't need half this crap." You're gonna, you're gonna put like a ton of pressure on her at the cashier's section to be like, "No," because there's like this understanding that you're like moving into the same place. You know, you're sharing a lot of stuff. You kind of have an opinion on what goes in there. And he didn't say anything until the very exactly, end. Exactly. Like, what? Exactly. What? That's yeah. like what I was thinking this whole time. It's just like, I'm just picturing the two of them are shopping and she's exciting. She's excited. She's putting all this stuff in the cart. Maybe she's a little overexcited. But like the whole time he's just standing there thinking these things, his face getting red. But he's not saying anything to her. Not once was he like, hey, baby, you already have one of these. Maybe we don't need another one. Or hey, <laughs> He's trying can, can to we? seduce her in the <laughs> Ikea. Hey, yes, baby, sir. you don't need. You don't need any more of those. Does. You got me to cuddle at night. You got me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that when you got this. Yeah, but if I was in this girl's position, I would be really pissed off too. I still think this is a need more info. I need to know how big the apartment is. I need to know how little or how, how much. big. <laughs> no, the apartment. I, well, hey, wait. Last time you had me on the this person had the person had more than one apartment, so you never know. I want to pee, but now because of y'all right there, I'm gonna say they're both the problem. Yeah, oh, that's we can say yeah. that? Yeah, you could say that. I think they're both the problem here. I think they're both the asshole. Then yeah, I this mean, is an everyone sucks okay. here, I think. I, I do think she maybe should have thought about her budget a little beforehand, but I don't think I would call her the asshole. Now, here's, here's why I said it though, okay? I think we can all agree that you live 
with her. Why are you not cool with buying the thing? This is a group trip. We're getting stuff for our apartment. But nevertheless, at the end, why was there no communication about the purchases? Why is he just now thinking, oh, we're, I'm not buying this? Neither of y'all talked about this beforehand. It sounds like when and this whole- And I don't think whole... it's a thing that's super obvious right out the For gate. For me, the thing is- Even if you're is, living together. It's the fact that he was thinking it the whole time. Mm -hmm. Because he said that as the cart was filling up, he started to feel weirder and weirder about the whole thing. And so it's like he he's aware that this is too much, but- never speaks up but that's the thing i think there needed to be a communication prior because what he probably thought is these are things that she's getting for the parts that she wants to participate in and she's thinking these are the things for both of us and he's just saying i'm all good like if it's if it's my girl and my girl is buying like all of her stuff and I, i'm like yo do your thing girl go ahead i see you i see you with the soap dispenser you that looks fantastic kill it but with me i i don't know if that's something i would want but the thing is, he didn't know that, and she didn't know that. They both should have talked about this beforehand. You wouldn't want a soap dispenser? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a soap dispenser, brother. It comes with one. I just got to press the bad boy. Oh, Wait, yeah, I guess I, if you're I, I, Why are we one? putting soap in bottles? It comes in a bottle. <laughs> you, I get you know, it. But, but on the other hand, dude, you're living in an apartment with someone. You don't. You need a little bit more. So both of them could have communicated. Yeah, and I mean, and the way he described his apartment, it was one of those like kind of, you know, damn bro, you Touch live like this. He yeah. definitely yeah. lived. <laughs> what's that one picture with the homie who's just sitting, there's a couch in the middle <laughs> and the then oh, what's a, there a fully couch? decked out entertainment system and then nothing else all uh, around. What I'm mainly confused is, I, I, I want you to run back part of the story because I want to know if I like, if I understood this right. There was a point in time where he, he knew that there were, there was like a matching side table for his side of the bed so at that point he should have been like hold on i guess we're filling up the house for both me and her maybe i should say something so he would probably have had an idea that you know it's for both of them am i misremembering like, that? i like and maybe and, and the issue is he's still going off assumptions that was yeah. wrong of him still mm -hmm. too but also i feel like wrong of her of not to have communicated with <laughs> him right out the gate like if i'm going to make a big purchase with someone out the gate i'm going to be like yo are we splitting this yeah this before is we step in the ikea and get the meatballs and that's the thing this is a trip to ikea this isn't a trip to like the dollar store you know like mm -hmm. you're, you're getting it's and there's a reason they call like they call it the ikea relationship test yeah, it's true. like it's because it's like it's a difficult yo, store failed. where you're buying <laughs> furniture which is a big commitment in a relationship like you you know you're moving in together that's yeah that's pretty serious and, and yeah and i want to yeah. say like because you're moving in together it's like at that point you might as well uh, assume that you're splitting down the middle for most things like rent in the apartment probably for yeah the furniture in the apartment and did they talk about that <laughs> yeah. that's that's what it's gonna come because i don't know man if i go to the if i'm going to the ikea and and we're a couple i don't know i'm a little cheap i'm gonna be like well actually that side table's just for me so i'm gonna just purchase this well see the way you, the way you got the, all the other stuff but, though. But, you know but see the way i'm cheap when i go to ikea is i think about what i want and then i find the absolute cheapest variant of that thing i'm yeah, oh, that's, I'm, I wouldn't be I in don't Ikea. I would go to Ikea. I order everything. I'm not in, why are you in Ikea? I'm <laughs> recording this on the cheapest desk I could find at Ikea. Yes, sir. Oh, is it the $20 Lin Dude. Mon desk? I know that desk. <laughs> no, big, no, real talk. I'm recording this sitting in a chair I found on the street. Oh, say. I think Dory was with me at the yep, time. I was with Brooklyn, Dory baby. and Yadoye, and I found the chair I'm sitting in on the street. If, if more than eight in the trash. I had a, a couple drinks beforehand. And we were like, I was, hey, Kurt, you might want to check that for bed bugs. He's like, not Hey, yo, right but there. guess what? I might have been a little drunk, but guess what? It was a it was a good drunk decision. It's still here now, and I am itch-free. Bro, if more than 80% of your furniture isn't, go like, literal garbage, you're doing it wrong. Like, that's yeah. just... That's, Dude, <laughs> that's who, how I've always who, lived my life. What weirdo buys a couch from a store? Exactly. And they're like fourteen hundred dollars just for the couch, and it's like, yeah, well, man, mine costs weirdo. like mine costs zero dollars. I think I'm it. in the minority here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's an Adrian thing. I'm not surprised That's the, I with mean, how strong. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian oh bought my a gosh. couch, but, but <laughs> just to like go back to the the asshole mm -hmm. part, I I think the one thing that keeps getting to me is that he waited until the end, knowing that there was a lot of stuff, and then waited until right before. 
you had to pay. Actually, right when you're supposed to pay. Right that's when they what got again, the bill. You know, you know, I, like why that. Why didn't she say anything either? Like, that's why I think it's built. I think it's on both of them. Like, I'm not saying he's not wrong, but I feel like why did she not like, so how do you want to split this up from the beginning? Not at checkout. You know, obviously, like I, I feel like there should have been a discussion. Obviously, there should like have been communication, but I think this guy mm -hmm. is also being a little too stubborn with what he thinks he does and does not need. Like Dory said, it's like the I it's agree. the male living space thing. And I, you know, mm -hmm. I recently furnished this apartment that I live in, and there's a lot of crap that you don't realize you need until it's too late. Or yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yes, it's like, so I, you need to be proactive. I can understand him getting flabbergasted mm -hmm. when he sees all this stuff that like he had no idea he actually needed. But mm, like yeah. it maybe, but I, I really think he should have just said to her like, "Hey, I don't, I don't want this, or I don't need this, or like, what's the point? Can we afford this?" But like he's, I, I don't know, just. But in my eyes, I think that's prompted by the initial communication that they both should have had at the beginning. How are we gonna run this again? I think he's wrong. The dude, the dude needs a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I'm and sure. honestly, like you know, we don't know the whole story. He's just posting up like bits and pieces of the story from his perspective. They could have talked. You know about what? It yeah, but we also don't know. Am I allowed to make my ruling need more info? You know, no, you have to make a rash decision <laughs> now. Fine, everyone sucks. Oh. Yes, I'm sir. leaving. I'm still, I'm still. Dude's an asshole. Should have been, uh, should have been proactive in talking to his girlfriend. Y'all don't feel any fault on the I mean, girl? Y'all feel any fault on the you girl? You know, when you mentioned that maybe they should have talked about it in the beginning, but like, over time, there, there's are a lot of points where the guy could have just been like, um, maybe we shouldn't buy that. Um, this is getting too much. And like, all of those are racking up against him. Yeah, he should have yeah, said something. I, I I agree. Up until I the pressure point. More, more I think she was over eager and maybe a bit airheaded when thinking of this trip, but I don't think she was the asshole. Ikea does have that effect on people. It's like, you know, I've, I've walked into Target being like, I, oh, I'm just here for a shirt, and then I leave with uh, six bananas in a new video game. What did you, what were you doing in this store? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what, wait, wait, wait. Those are completely wait, wait. different Yo, aisles. Wait, which, 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 what were you no, doing in that Which video store? games are you buying? They sell produce at Target. I fully <laughs> understand where Dory's coming from. Target yeah. is like a black hole of uh, like y'all wilding Dory, or productivity Dory went and got bananas and then got Donkey Kong <laughs> Tropical Freeze. <laughs> She's like, this banana reminds me of Donkey Kong <laughs> Tropical Freeze. I haven't got that game yet. Now, personally, I'd never make y'all pay, but I'd make Skillshare pay me to tell you about free Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Yo, come on, that's at least a nine out of 10 transition right there. Now, if you're new here, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries who come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. And folks, this isn't a journey to Ikea. This is one that 98% won't ruin your relationship unless you get so good at something that you wanna leave. I don't know. If anything, it would improve it because they have classes from photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and much, much more. Just pull up and you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. Now, me personally, my passions, as I've said time and time again, is making these videos, which involve a lot of writing and a lot of me actually being okay at uh, writing, usually, when I'm not talking about AITAs. So, so I can make at least a crumb of sense. I've been watching creative writing, crafting personal essays, Impact by Roxanne Gay. And, and I think it's working. I guess we won't know until the next video. Or the last one, if you like that. So if all that sounds good to you and you want some free knowledge, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. But you better act fast because every time I check these things, they're like gone very quickly. So you better get on it. So once again, if you want your first month of Skillshare free, be one of the first 1,000 people to click my link in the description to get an amazing, amazing deal. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video.